Weblog, aka blog, a regularly updated log on the internet, usually run by a person or small group written in an informal style. Blogging, the act of adding new material to a blog or to regularly update a blog. Types of blog posts, articles on your own blog, mini articles on a microblog, and articles on other people's blogs. At this point, you may be thinking to yourself, why? But don't worry, coming up, we're going to get it all sorted out for you. These days, it seems like everyone has a blog for one reason or another, whether it's an outlet to type out our inner musings of the world today, or to let people into a part of our lives we would have difficulty discussing out loud, there are a number of never-ending reasons to start one. If you own a small business, there are even more reasons to have one. While there are a few that would argue as to whether blogs are still applicable with the surge of social media marketing platforms that have taken the world by storm, it's believed by most that blogging can be an integral piece of your marketing plan. In case you're still waiting to take the plunge into the weblog world, some reasons to consider moving forward with your own blog are that they are a great way to develop better relationships with your current customers. They will increase your SEO in sites like Google and Yelp, and they can position your brand as a perceived industry leader, even if you're just starting out. Microblogging, a combination of blogging and instant messaging. It allows users to create short messages to be posted and shared with an audience online. Two common microblogging platforms are Twitter and Tumblr. Twitter, one of the oldest and most well-known to be labeled as a microblog. With a limit of 140 characters per post, short and to-the-point content makes this platform the epitome of microblogging. Tumblr, taking its inspiration from Twitter, this platform has fewer restrictions and more features. If you haven't gotten around to trying a microblogging platform, here are some benefits to consider. Your content will take less time to create. It's easier to post more frequently. It's perfect for disseminating urgent information to a large audience. Ease of access through mobile apps. Now that you have your own blog and microblog accounts set up and are in the habit of posting interesting and engaging articles regularly, let's get into the concept of guest blogging. Don't worry. Breathe. Breathe. Guest blogging. Creating an article for a blog that's not your own. Why, you ask? Because it's an opening to share your knowledge with others while simultaneously increasing traffic to your blog. Since guest blogging should go both ways, you should be planning to feature posts from other bloggers in the future. Featuring guest posts will give your audience a new perspective on your industry as well as help freshen your content if you've gotten stuck in a rut. To get started, first decide what benefits you're looking to get from the process of guest blogging. This will assist you in finding businesses you may be interested in creating content for and give you an idea of which guest bloggers would be good to invite to post on your site later. Research is essential to guest blogging, so begin by asking yourself some questions. Do the businesses you're looking at have a large number of active followers? Do these followers regularly participate by posting comments or sharing? Do these businesses also have a Facebook page and Twitter account where they share their blog posts? Focus on finding bloggers within your niche and market industry. Especially, be aware of whether or not these bloggers are coming from a respected business or background. You should agree with what they have to say. Their opinions should match your own. If they don't, this could lead to content issues later if their content doesn't line up with your business, personality, or tone. Be sure to promote your guest blog posts on your own social media accounts and on your own blog. This will bring in more traffic to your guest blog and their business. It should become a habit to share your content. Plus, it's a good way to say thank you to your host for publishing our guest post. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you found it informative and would like to see others, please subscribe below so we can keep you informed as more become available.